If you're a Drupal site builder, you probably know that you can embed media into the CK editor, the body field, because let's face it, content editors ask for that all the time. But what about image styles? Hi, my name is Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. Thanks for joining me today. In this video, I want to talk about how to use image styles in CK Editor when you're embedding media. Now, this is an interesting topic because the Drupal community is actually working on this. The media module has been around, I guess, in finalized form since Drupal 8.8, .8, but it's still not quite finished. We're still waiting for an easy way to use image styles in a media embed in the CK editor or the body field or any text area field for that matter. In this video then, I want to take you through the process of getting this working. Now, it's a little bit longer of a video. It's more of a tutorial. Here are the four steps. You'll add a view mode or several view modes into the media entity. You'll set up your image styles. You'll update the display for a media entity using the different views that you've done. And then we'll update CK Editor to allow you to use those different view modes. All right, let's dive in. So here we are over in a brand new Drupal site. There's nothing on. I've added admin toolbar and I've turned on the media module. The first step then, structure and display modes, view modes, and add a view mode. Now this is gonna be a bit of a pain. You're gonna have to add as many view modes as you want to make image styles accessible for the media. So I'm going to recommend three, you know, big, medium, and little. I'm going to click on media, and I'm going to call this full width. This is the only one we're actually going to do in the tutorial, but the principles are all the same. So that's step one. Step two then is to add our image style. Configuration, media, image styles. And I'm going to add an image style and call it full width. 1600 by 1600. Now this depends, of course, on your theme. I'm going to use Bartik. So the biggest it's ever, ever going to be is 1600. You might want to do one for 2500 if you're using a full width kind of theme. Create new style. And then I'm just going to scale this to 1600 by 1600. Now you can do this with the responsive image module as well, but this is probably just the quickest. Add effect, and now we've got our full width image style ready to go. The next step then is to update the display for the view mode. So structure, media types, image, and manage display, and click on custom display settings and to add that full width display in. Now again, if you've made three or four of these, go ahead and put check marks in each one of them. Click save. And then let's modify each view mode that you've set up. Click full width. Image is visually hidden. And let's update the image style to use our new image style called full width. Click update. And click save. All right, so that's step three. Step four then is to update our CK editor to use this particular display view. All right, configuration content authoring, text formats and editors, and we'll just update the basic HTML display. Click Configure. You've probably done this before, but if you haven't, it's not a big deal. Grab the media icon here, drag it down, and drop it in the media slot. I would encourage you to get rid of the old one. Honestly, I would never allow an editor to use it. Now, we've got our icon here in the media box. Scroll down, put a check mark in Embed Media. That's really important it opens up this filter processing order here for embed media, and you'll note that it's the last one. This should work across the board, but if it doesn't, you might want to try rearranging these. Finally, you're going to scroll down under filter settings, and under view modes, it's important here, you need to select two or more modes. I'm going to select default and full width. Now, of course, if you set up more view modes here, You'll have more here, and you can check them off as needed. Click Save Configuration. All right, that's it. 
head over to content, add content, any kind of content type you want. I'm just going to call this test media and click on your insert media icon. Now, all of these images are huge. This one is over four meg. This one is over two meg. These are pictures that I've taken. And that's my front yard. That's my little town. That's Myrtle Beach. And this is me golfing. The far ball is mine. The near ball is my buddy's. We'll use this putting green image. I'm going to click insert selected. And there it is. This uses the default view by default. If I click edit media, now I have a display setting here and I can change that to full width and click save. I'll click save on the node and there's my image in the full width. If we save this image to downloads, let's just take a look and see what the size is. Well, all right, there's the image 1600 by 1200 and it's 496 kilobytes versus the over four meg the original image was. So our image style is definitely working. Now it's worth noting that the Drupal community knows about this and the Drupal community is working on it. You'll see what the ultimate goal here is or what the ultimate goal is being suggested that we allow image styles to be selected right within the edit image for media itself. But you'll also see there's just a ton of requests here that are unresolved. At the time of this recording, we're on Drupal 9.2.6. And so this isn't going to make it in anytime soon, certainly not by 9.3, but we do know the Drupal community is working on it. And in the meantime, you at least have an option to use image styles on embedded media in a body field or a text area field using the CK editor. Well, that was a long one. I hope this has been helpful to you. Thanks for joining me today. My name's Rod Martin. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. We publish a new video every week. It could be on any open source topic, WordPress, Joomla, or Drupal. And so, hey, subscribe, hit that bell to get notified, and we'll see you in the next video.